Well, Steve, this is such a heavy day here for North Carolinians and really for the law enforcement community as a whole. We're here outside the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department where we learned from the police chief just about an hour ago about that fourth officer who has died from his injuries. It is certainly such an emotional day here in Charlotte. I would never thought something like this would happen so close to our house. Chaos in an East Charlotte neighborhood Monday afternoon. <laughs> Neighbors hearing more gunshots than they could count. Me, that was crazy. It sounded like something out of Call of Duty. Neighbors asked to stay in their homes. Questions and concern rising by the moment. And bullets don't have any names. So if they miss you and hit right in my house and my kids are just getting home from school, you know, what happens then? Hours later, police bringing the tragedy into focus. Today we lost some heroes that are out to just simply trying to keep our community safe. Police later releasing that the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force tried to serve a warrant for a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. When they got to the home around 1.30 in the afternoon, someone started firing at them. Officers shot back, killing that person in the front yard of the home. Then more gunfire from inside the house, a second shooter targeting law enforcement. After a three hour standoff, the gunfire finally ended, but eight officers were shot in the process. One U.S. Marshal and two corrections officers were killed, another from the task force injured. Four Charlotte Mecklenburg police officers shot as well, with the police chief announcing later in the evening that one of them, Officer Joshua Iyer, passed away from his injuries too. He survived by his wife Ashley uh, and his three year old son Andrew. Um, We'll always be indebted to Officer Iyer for his bravery. You think about it. Your father, your husband, your friend, your neighbor, all of them were some, one person like that. And today they're not going home. And though they grieve the loss of their own, the work is not done for law enforcement. They will continue to investigate as neighbors work to process what happened. I was scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm still, you know, a little shaking, stuff like that, because I've never been through something like this. And there are still so many unanswered questions tonight. We know two people who were inside the home at the time of the shooting were brought to the police department for questioning. We're still waiting to learn more about what's ahead for them, waiting to learn more about the condition of those four additional officers who were shot. I'm sure we will learn much more in the coming days. But for tonight, this tragedy remains raw here in Charlotte.